Democratic leaders rolled out a bill they say would revamp and modernize the election system. It dates back to the 1900s. We are in the 21st century, and we want to do um, a lot of good things to make sure voter turnout and registration. We are 39th in the state in voter turnout and also in voter registration. We, we could do better. The bill has 12 reforms. Among them allow for election day registration, allow for online registration, have automatic registration when one renews a driver's license, and keep certain polling places open two weeks prior to a general election. The push comes on the heels of woefully low turnout in the recent assembly primary. In 2015, New Jersey's primary turnout was the lowest in 90 years. 5.1 percent of eligible voters turned out. The prospects for this November's general election aren't much better. In the assembly race, we're predicting 22 to 25 percent turnout. One of the reasons why, and it's not because they're not excited about the assembly, is because we make it too hard for people to vote. One kicker in the bill is that it would eliminate special elections to fill vacancies like the October 2013 election in which Cory Booker beat Steve Lonigan to fill the late Frank Lautenberg Senate seat. And remember when Governor Christie appointed his friend and fellow Republican Jeff Chiesa to fill that seat temporarily? The bill would require any governor to fill a vacancy with someone of the same party as the departing official. Some wonder whether that is aimed at Bob Menendez's seat. Should the indicted senator give up his seat, Christie might want to appoint himself to the U.S. Senate, and this bill would block that, which is why observers think that even if it passes, Christie would veto it. If the governor vetoes us, we, we, we have to talk about whether we take it to the voters. We spend zero time worrying about boxing the governor in uh, in his presidential politics, literally zero time. Greater voter access is usually seen as aiding Democrats more than Republicans, though you couldn't get an admission of that here. Why is anybody against making it easier for people to register to vote and for people to vote? There is no logical reason for that. Liberal interest groups support the bill. When you have an economy that is forcing parents, families to work two jobs, three jobs, care for children, limiting participation to, uh, in our electoral process to just one short window is counterproductive. Republican leader John Bramnick said he hasn't seen the bill. Republican leader Tom Kane couldn't be reached. A reporter asked a cogent question of the Democrats. Might the public's lack of interest have something to do with the fact that only three of the 40 legislative districts are even considered competitive? At the State House, I'm Michael Aaron, NJTV News.